friends. We're here to do our small group lesson writing poems. Now, when we write and read poetry, we listen for words that sound special together and that help us see something in a new way. Words draw a picture in our minds. If we're writing a poem about a mouse eating a strawberry, we could say the mouse ate the strawberry, right? That's pretty basic, we can say it like that. Or instead, we could say the mouse's whiskers twitched as she ate the sweet, ripe strawberry. So using descriptive words to describe everyday events and objects make it more special in our minds. So, can you think of another way to talk about the sun rising in the morning or about the car ride to school or to daycare or wherever you went last? What are some words we could use to describe riding in the car? I want you to think about that. What are some words you could use to describe that? Now, there are some poems that rhyme and some do not. Now here's an example of one that does not rhyme. I step outside and hear the wind. I feel the breeze on my face. The trees whisper as they sway and I watch the leaves dance on the branches. It makes me feel like dancing too. You get a really good picture in your mind about nice cool wind and you feel the breeze on your face and the trees are swaying in the wind and you see the leaves dance on the branches but the words do not rhyme so that's just an example of ones where they don't but here is one that does zooming on my scooter see the world go by pushing with my legs so fast I think that I might fly. Now that rhymes because go by and fly rhyme. Why don't you listen to that one again? Listen for the rhyming words. Zooming on my scooter, see the world go by. Pushing with my legs so fast, I think that I might fly. See, you can hear that. Yeah, you can hear by and fly. Which rhyme? Now, if we were in class, we would try to create our own poems. Now, another good way to do that is you can use your five senses, which your five senses you are seeing with your eyes, hearing with your ears, you taste with your tongue. You touch with your fingers and you smell with your nose. So you can use your senses to think about different things that you hear or see or taste or smell or feel. So how about this? Like, think about it. What does it sound like when you hear thunder? Does it make you scared? Do you like the sound of thunder? Does it make you happy? Just think about that. That's something you can write about. Or do you feel excited? So we'll do this again. Hopefully next time we do this card, we'll write a poem together in class. Maybe we can make a poem about what study we're doing and we'll all work together on doing that. But for now, that's a little bit about writing poems. I will see you guys later. Bye.